What's going on YouTube? Shark City Vintage with Thrift Hole number 18. Yeah, so we got all this in at one spot at the Salvation. So, shit, we got like three big ass bags about to go through. So, it's going to be like another 40 minute video, I'm assuming. Just giving y'all a heads up. But it might be worth it trying to lace y'all up on what stuff to get and what stuff sells for me and whatnot. <clears throat> all right first of all we got this um south pole like a, um it's like a long sleeve waffle uh waffle uh whatever long sleeve embroidery patchwork like a patch embroidery or something on that double x you can tell when it's like early 2000s because it's tags like hella huge. They got the new South Pole that's out right now. They be selling like at Ross and uh, Marshalls, Burlington. But I'm not really feeling it. It's like it's the same shit. Well, it's not. I don't know. It's like they tried too hard. I like the original styles better than like the newer shit. Right, this one's a banger too. This one's a Echo long sleeve another waffle waffle shirt waffle long sleeve but this shit got some stuff on the side on the sleeve right here oh you get it dude unlimited the sick rhino Pretty sure they got the, whoever got this. It was the same person, so came out early two thousands. Yeah, big ass tag. It's like Echo tries to make new stuff, but their quality, the material on it, it's like hella crap. Like their sweats and their shirts are all fucking their whack ass design, dude. I ain't feeling it. Alright, this one is a Fatal t-shirt, probably like early 2000s or so. Sick-ass chick tatted up on the front. I didn't even peep up the tap, so that shit's sick. It's like sailor-style tattoos. That's sick. This one's a yeah, size medium. Oh shit, you got it blasted on the back too. Dope. <clears throat> so this is the type of stuff I'll be looking for. More like grunge wear, skater wear, or hip hop, raver, funky wear, or some Stuff that like pops out. I don't like getting like blank, bland looking shit. Dude. Most of my shit got like sick as graphic or... Some sick details to it or something. Got a LRG hoodie. This one's pretty dope because the patchwork. It's like hella gold. And you got the tr uh, sleeve. You got like the gold rope too on it. It's kind of like the old school furniture. How it got like design and shit to it. A double X. Oh no, nah, hell, this is 4X, my bad. 4X. <clears throat> now, actually, I did get some stuff at the flea market too. I forgot. This is like a flea market hall and the thrift hall. Salvation Army Hall. But this shit's from the Salvi too. I seen it and I was like, shit. I'll pay full price whatever they charge for it. Because I'm about to run it up a little bit. Not too much. But you see it. This is like sport wear that still recognizes street wear and shit. Because this team right here be selling the dope vintage styles and all that. 
You already know, it's the San Jose Sharks. <clears throat> Repping my hometown from Shark City Vintage from San Jose. That's where I'm from. But yeah. What size is this? Hope it's a double X. I'll straight rock this shit. Right? I won't even sell this thing. It's a double X. Uh oh yeah, XL. Shit, y'all lucky. This ain't no double X. Cause there's some stuff recently that I copped that's a double X. Then before I was gonna list it, I tried it on and end up keeping it. I got uh, um <clears throat> fuck my throat, my bad. Some ducks unlimited fleece jacket. That was a double X. I tried it on. Put a black hoodie under it. Shit, I was good to go. I should say. Alright, this one is just like a hundreds long sleeve shirt. Probably like late 2000s. Got the front and back logo. Small logo in the front. Size this XL2. No holes or nothing. Good condition. And you got the shit on the back too. Big ol' hundreds blasted on the back. That's what's up. This was like one of my favorite brands probably like 10 years ago. Or 10, 5, 10 years ago. I was like rocking that shit heavy. I haven't copped no hundreds of merch in a minute though. Shout out to Oakland, dude. Shout out to Oakland straight up. <clears throat> I was just in the town. And I copped some dope ass uh, Simpsons uh, rap tea style merch. It's like the Black Simpsons that get the uh, Oakland Simpsons. But I'll show y'all that on another video I'm I got coming up pretty soon. But yeah, they got that Oakland A's um, sweater, uh, zip up, zip up sweater, fanatics, good condition, size large. Oh yeah, shit in the back too. Got the town, Oakland in the back. Yeah, I'm never really in Oakland. I just like pass through when I'm riding to the city, but I decided to stop by uh, Saturday. Just to go to make Lair uh, Lake Merritt. Oh, damn. I ain't trying to zip this up right now. But I'm trying to go to Lake Merritt and just like go burn one out there before I head to the SCO. Or I was going to check out the East Bay, go to Berkeley and shit. But the town was cracking. That shit was sick. Got hella street vendors out there, hella food vendors, people selling clothes, selling food, selling like sh cannabis shit. Dude sold me some shrooms out there. I was like, hell yeah. Right after the shirt, right next to the booth, um, Town Collective had like a big ass bottle of shrooms. I was like, oh shit. <coughs> Alright, we got this Sean John. <coughs> God damn. Sean John hoodie. Zip up. Stripe work. Patch work on the front. This shit's sick. No strings, though, on that double X, my size. Some Sean John, though. That shit's sick. <clears throat> this shit went cool back in the early 2000s. It's Puff Daddy streetwear. That shit struck gold, dude. And I was like... I walked out that motherfucker with a big ass shopping cart all the way filled to the top. Big ass shopping cart, three big ass bags. And uh, I paid like 150 for like all this shit. I guarantee I'm going to flip that like probably 10 times with all this merch, dude. For real. Triple X, Fat Farm, Vintage YTK. You got that lime, light green, purple, blue stripe all over. I 
Russell Simmons. Of course, yeah. I think this is all from the same owner. They're straight up. All like the same size, pretty much. Double X and triple X. Yeah, I'd be selling these streetwear um, stripe shirts. I should like that, that style. <clears throat> All right, that's bag one. This one, I have no idea what the hell it is. I didn't do my research on it. I just thought it was a dope shirt. Might be like a band tee. Might be like a, a religious streetwear. I have no idea. Spirit Adrift Curse of Conception. I don't know what it is. Like I said, I was just copying shit. Just throwing it in the basket. I know it's dope. It's size large. This one, uh, yeah, I think it's like a youth size, maybe. Yeah, you got that youth size Ninja Turtles tee. Yeah, because their section's right, it connects with the men's section, so when I'm running through the racks, I just, like, take a quick, like, flip through the racks. 2015. Got the dope-ass Ninja Turtles right there. The, the, Graphic popping out the background. That shit is sick. So don't be scared to sell like youth size XL larges because female buyers be buying that because they're like smaller size. Or someone might want to buy it for the kids and have them all dripped out. So don't be passing up on the kid dope streetwear, dude, for real. This one's uh, just a Maroon 5. Some that will probably sell like on Poshmark maybe or Mercari. Who knows, maybe even Depop. But this is like a concert tour shirt. Yeah, 2017. Oh, this one's pretty sick. This one's a size large. Got that Mickey T. Cool little essential. Mickey Slam Dunks. Sure, it's hella light too. It's not like the heavy cotton, heavyweight cotton. Like you could probably play ball in this shirt too. That's probably what it's meant for. That got that Mickey 28 on the back. <clears throat> this one's like a probably a local tattoo shirt. But I thought it was dope because the logo and shit. It's pretty rare. I'm not gonna see this every day. But this is Sigma Inc. Size triple X. Tattoo streetwear. That's just like one of my random dopenesses. And these I thought were pretty sick. Because it, it reminds me of like rap tees and shit somewhat. How it got like shit popped out in the front. So this is like a Thailand. Uh, these are like tourist tees though. I got a few of these. This one's a Thailand tourist tee. Got the little the bucket right in the front. Then the temple in the back. Tuck tuck. So all these are all printed in Thailand. So you can't even get them out here. You'd have to go fly out out there or some shit. Got the Panda uh, 2010. Sick, I didn't even notice that. 2010 
Panda. Panda ball. Size large. Yeah, he was a hitter back in the day. I feel sick with it. When the whole team was cracking. Panda, Posey. I used to deliver uh, Postmates to Hunter Pence back in the day on everything. I never met him, but I had a few deliveries going to him back when I used to do Postmates in the city. Like, at least like four times or so. Even to the homie Burner, too. That shit was sick. Alright, this is, I don't know, just some dope-ass graphic tee. Some hot rods. Cruising American style. This is on the Sheen uh, Sheen shirt, size medium. Like I said, I thought it was dope just because the graphics sick. Reminds you of like American graffiti or something. Uh, or what's that burger spot? Uh, I can't even think of it right now. Maybe having it everywhere in this. Oh, Mel's. Like a Mel's type thing. We got hella stuff, dude. For real. <clears throat> this is some dope Frisco streetwear. We are family for. I guess it's like a family reunion shirt or something. Single stitch. That Hanes. This one's a double X. This one, uh, it's like a size small. I don't know what it is. I thought <coughs> it's just dope. Like Kansas City Chiefs football style T-shirt. Got the Grim Reaper. No brand. No size. Like I said, size small. This logo on the back. Oh, hell yeah. Speaking of the homie burner. Cookies. This is like probably with the early ass ones he came out with hell years ago. Worldwide cookies. This one's a size double X. Got <clears throat> got that shirt from uh, the homie Big Black, I think his name is, from Robin Big. But this one's like a cutoff t-shirt, uh, size large. Got that Do Work on there. I was trying to remember, like, Do Work. I was like, oh, yeah, that one video we came out with. R.I.P. the homie, dude. Dude, it was hella funny. Shout out to Rob Deirdrick, dude, and his cousin. I forgot his name. He's still putting that streetwear, young and reckless. I found a few of his uh, stuff at the thrift store a couple times. Flipped it already. But most of the time I see nowadays, it's just like a... One second, I got a phone call.